And we begin this half hour with the potential for a shift of power in Lansing. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis and I'm Brian Abel. Right now, the Michigan House is made up of 56 Democrats and 54 Republicans. But the Democratic control could shift depending on two mayoral races right here in Metro Detroit. Seven Action News reporter Faraz Javid has a look at why some voters are feeling uneasy. I don't feel good about it. Why is that? Um, because it's a 50-50 split, you go nowhere than where you're at right now. Helen McRoberts has lived in Warren for 40 years. She already submitted her absentee ballot to decide who would be the next mayor of that city. But what voters decide in the races for mayor in Warren and Westland could shift the power in the Michigan House of Representatives in Lansing. And here are how things can change. In Westland, Representative Kevin Coleman and interim Mayor Mike Londo are on the ballots. While in Warren, it's down to Representative Lori Stone and George DeMoss. Both Democrats, Coleman and Stone, are currently state representatives in the House. If they win, the House will drop from 56-54 to 54-54, resulting in a deadlock, a first since 1994. Democrats will lose their majority, which to this point has been very effective in pushing through a lot of Democratic priorities uh, and, and legislation. Political science professor at Oakland University Dave Dulio says last year, Democrats took control of the Senate, House and the governor's office for the first time in 40 years. Since then, they've repealed the right to work law, passed gun safety measures and further protected LGBTQ plus and abortion rights. But uh, Speaker Tate uh, would remain as speaker and uh, Democrats would, would still control the machinery, if you will, of the legislature. Uh, they just wouldn't have that functioning majority. What if one person wins? Well, if one person wins, Democrats have uh, a majority still, 55, 54, uh, but that just makes it harder. That's why Dave believes the state house is going to wrap up early this year, trying to pass many Democratic favorable bills before the mayoral elections results are certified. It's something that's got a Republican, Tim Robinson, upset. I'd rather have somebody that would represent us and, you know, do what they're supposed to do and do it in a timely fashion, but right. I mean, what can, I mean, all we can do is vote for them. Well, I'm obviously watching the two mayoral races very closely, and um, Wednesday morning when we know the outcome of those races, I anticipate we'll start to do the work of what's next if there's any action for me to take. But it all depends on the voters. Yeah. Now, if one or even both of the state representatives win the mayoral elections, then seats will open up for the state house, giving Governor Whitmer the power to decide when to hold the special elections for state representatives. In Warren, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News. Faraz, thank you. We have all you need to know about tomorrow's election here in Metro Detroit. Be sure to visit our election guide on WXYZ.com, where we have a breakdown of all the communities and school districts with issues on the ballot and how to find your polling place. Glenda?